Time now for another check on your weather. We just saw that rain. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch here with the first alert forecast. Vanessa, I mean, we needed it, so. Yes, we needed it, maybe untimely because it's the weekend, so much happening, but you know, we both enjoy a dreary day every now and again. I think it is not too shabby. The unfortunate thing for some will be that we will repeat today's forecast tomorrow. Looking live outside right now, clouds are looming low over the city. We've got mist and drizzle. It will be again a damp and dreary Sunday. Drier Monday, though, but the chance for wet weather lingers through Wednesday. Here, a look at those precip chances. Tomorrow, 60% chance you're dealing with more rain, mist drizzle. For Monday, it's just a 20% chance of a stray shower. Tuesday, 40% chance. Then Wednesday, maybe another passing shower rolling through before the forecast dries out. Thursday through the weekend, as it looks right now. That's next weekend. All right, the setup. As we look at what's happening on our surface map, this area of low pressure right here really helping to keep us tucked into the clouds and moisture. But there is a little bit of a connection, a moisture connection, to the remnants of Helene, which is still drenching areas to our southwest. As we look at our forecast hour by hour, overnight cloudy skies, mist drizzle. Tomorrow the story does not change. It will be a little breezy still tomorrow. Winds will generally be out of the east. Then as we roll into Monday, notice how we still have the clouds pretty thick early on, but we see a little bit of improvement through the day and not a lot of green on the screen. That is some good news. As we make our way into Tuesday, though, a return chance for more cloudy skies, more mist and drizzle. Tomorrow morning, Tunnel to Towers is happening. 63 degrees, a damp run, unfortunately, but that will not stop the crowds, I know, from raising money. As we look at your high temperatures around the region tomorrow, they will be very similar to what we experienced today. Cloudy skies, mist and drizzle, and a high of 68 in the city, 67 for Toms River tomorrow, 66 in Bridgeport, and 63 up in Yes, White Plains. As we check out the tropics, post-tropical storm Helene, again, still churning to our southwest. Sustained winds now are at 15 miles per hour. It's post-tropical. It's essentially dumping rain. Doesn't have that well-defined eye. It's like another storm system rolling through, but certainly causing problems for many of our neighbors to the south and southwest. Tropics are very active. We do have Hurricane Isaac. No concern to us as a cat, too. Tropical storm joys will be fizzling out over the open Atlantic, but but an area of concern is another area making its way through the Caribbean. 40% chance of this development, and it could make a landfall next weekend as a hurricane, maybe Hurricane Kirk, along the Gulf Coast. Again, that's something to watch for next weekend. As we look at your seven-day forecast now, we're talking about 68 tomorrow, clouds, mist and drizzle. For Monday, some improvements, 72, still a slim chance, but looking better and drier. Tuesday, 68, those showers return. Wednesday, 70 per 70 70 degrees with a chance lingering. Thursday, Friday, Saturday looking spectacular. Sunshine, low to mid 70s. And we know those runners tomorrow, that rain's not going to bother. Not them at all, not slowing them down. All right, thanks, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Time now for a check on our weather. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is here with the very latest. And of course, it was raining. We saw the ponchos, but yeah. <laughs> And they didn't about the rain. seem to phase them, yeah. right? Some good music, good times. Tomorrow, any outdoor activities can anticipate similar conditions. Another damp and dreary day to round out your weekend. And as far as September goes so far, let's check out where we stand. Just two days left. Temperatures are running on the cool side, about a half degree below average. And in the precip department, we're running a deficit for the month of over three inches. But we did pick up over a quarter of an inch today. Nonetheless, we still are ranked within the top 10 driest Septembers on record. Yeah, number eight at the moment with just over three quarters of an inch. As we check out the conditions live outside right now, we've got low clouds, drizzle tomorrow, another damp and dreary day. It's going to essentially echo what we experienced today. By Monday, we anticipate breaks of sunshine. That's pretty nice. A slim chance of showers as well. More showers return to the mix on Tuesday. Precip chances shake out like this. 60% chance tomorrow. For Monday, about a 20% chance. Tuesday, we're back to 40. Wednesday, 20%. But Wednesday's the day where we start to see that transition to high pressure dominating once again. And 
lots of sunshine comes into play by Thursday. Our setup in the atmosphere today, low pressure to our due south. We also, of course, have the remnants of Helene to our southwest. This is our dominant low impacting our forecast today, keeping us tucked into the clouds and really damp. But there is a bit of a moisture connection to the remnants of Helene, and that will stay the case over the next few days as finally Helene makes its way out over open waters by midweek. As you look at your forecast hour by hour tomorrow, it's cloudy. Clouds, mist, drizzle, occasional showers as well. By Monday, we're going to start to see those breaks of sun come back into the mix. I'm not saying it's a sunny day, but certainly drier, brighter than we've seen so far this weekend. By Tuesday, the clouds are thickening up once again, and we bring back a chance for showers. We don't expect it to be as damp as it will be this weekend. Tomorrow is Tunnel to Towers. We talked about it earlier in the newscast. The forecast, 63 degrees. Again, some showers, certainly mist and drizzle should be anticipated for tomorrow's morning run. As we look at the highs around the region tomorrow, under those cloudy and damp conditions, it's a high of 68 in the city, about 4 degrees below normal. 66 your high to our Bridgeport, 65 in Trenton. An update on the tropics. Two storms out in the open Atlantic that are not of concern for us, but we are closely watching an area likely to develop here in the Caribbean, and this may make a hurricane landfall possible on the Gulf next weekend. Could be Hurricane Kirk, something to closely watch. Your seven-day forecast again tomorrow, upper 60s, clouds with and drizzle. Monday, 72, mostly cloudy, slim chance for showers. Some more showers Tuesday, 68, then Wednesday, 70, chance for showers, but then beautiful for the rest of the week. Mm, and maybe the weather tomorrow will get people to run a little bit faster. Yeah, the, the, that's, <laughs> that's right. a great Get event. We know. The, it is yes. fantastic. Good right. cause. Vanessa, thank you. Mm -hmm.